hello guys welcome back to my channel today i'll be sharing with you how i make ofada rice and ofada sauce which is also known as ayamase sauce and i'm sure my yoruba friends on here are actually very familiar with this um, sauce i'm about to blow your mind with as you can see here i have about two cups of rice which i'm washing right now and i like to wash my rice as many times as possible just to make sure that i don't have stones in it i don't have shaft inside of it and also so when my water is crystal clear i know my rice is ready to go into my rice cooker that's what i'm using rice cooker um so guys if you're new here please do well to like subscribe share with your friends and family and do not forget to turn on the notification bell of my channel so when i drop a video like this you will be the first to know and i hope you enjoy this video and keep watching here i have my scotched pepper i have my green bell pepper i had this in the fridge so it almost got spoiled i'll be taking that off and i also have my onion as you can see this recipe you don't need the tomatoes and all of that no this is exactly what you need and i'll just go ahead to chop off all the unnecessary things i will not be needing for this meal as you can see what i'm doing right now i'm chopping them off bit by bit remember we are not wasting anything times are hard <laughs> let's not waste things guys and as you can see easy peasy does the job i'm just going gently taking them off bits by bits now i'm washing off my vegetables just to make sure that everything is clean well cleaned and prepped for our ofada sauce don't forget that my rice is actually cooking in my rice cooker and i really can't wait guys so I'm just gonna wash this um, twice you can do it once if you are sure everything is perfectly okay but I'm going to wash it twice just to be sure and then I'm and blend and also sieve out my vegetables I am not throwing away the water just in case you're thinking what are we going to do with the water just keep watching you will learn one or two even if you know how to make this dish trust me you will learn something different common variety is the spice of life what are you saying keep watching <laughs> in my pot I'm going to put in my goat's meat my onion my panla fish I love to cook with this and also a bit of cayenne pepper just to spice up my meat and I'm also adding my no seasoning cube I'm using the chicken my goat seasoning and salt And I'm going to let this cook a bit um, for about 20 minutes and then we'll come back to check it. As you can see here, my goat meat is ready. It's already soft, ready for me to, you know, start doing the do <laughs> in the kitchen with it. So I'm just going to take this out and jump right into our cooking proper. Here in my pan, I'm going to add my red oil to it. I'm going to let this heat up a bit. I don't like my oil bleached too much. So I'm just going to let this heat up a bit and I'll come back for it to check. At this point, yo, my kitchen was a total mess. You no, know, the bleach and all of that, trying to bleach the oil wasn't easy. As you can see there, I added my onion and also I'm going to add my vegetables. I'm just going to stir this to let this cook for a few minutes I'm gonna add my seasoning cube my no seasoning cube some salt and my locust beans which is also called iru Yoruba people know this as iru others know it as locust beans I'm just going to stir this a bit please try not to over salt it as you're cooking you're tasting And now it's time for me to add in my cooked goat's meat to make sure that all my ingredients you know they are they are familiarizing themselves with each other in the pot Do you understand what i mean like make sure everything now you see the water i kept aside this is the point where you use it you don't need to use no more water just use the vegetable water to make sure that your meal is tasty so just stir a bit make sure that your salt is properly incorporated just cover and then we'll come back I had to boil some eggs 
behind the scene to add into my ayamase just to know that ayamase or fada is not complete without your boiled eggs just look at that guys i'm already hungry just look at those colors <laughs> of course of course of course food is ready food 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 la 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 if you don't mind me food is ready our sauce is perfectly cooked is ready i don't know what you're bringing to the table but Behind the scene, I have something. Just keep watching. Just keep watching. I'm going to blow your mind at the end of this meal. Because the next slide you're going to see is how I am going to enjoy my ofada rice. Ta-da! As you can see here, I'll be eating my ofada rice with plantain and of course my sauce. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please do not forget to turn on the notification bell. And I'll see you next on my channel. Stay safe. Bye!